ever had a hard day at the office? One of those times when it seems like no matter what you do, you can't seem to please anyone. What if it was like that every day you punched the clock? Welcome to the world of the game official. In the heartland, game night is a time to celebrate athleticism, school pride, and competition. Nobody knows it better than Marlon Sparks. For 35 years, he's been racing up and down foul lines and baselines, officiating everything from peewee games to high school and college contests in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and elsewhere. We want to clean in the paint. We're going to call hand checking and body checking. And sportsmanship is an absolute must. Sparks has written a book about his adventures between the lines entitled, Hey Ref, You Stink. Actually, I cleaned it up pretty good. So, Hey Ref, You Stink is pretty mild. <laughs> But I've heard a lot of things. And he's seen a lot of things. Many times it's the worst side of fans who get wrapped up in the emotion of the moment. There's been probably three or four different occasions where a kid got hurt on the court and a mother would come after me with her purse. I had that, I've had that happen twice. Spark says it takes a special breed of person to put on the stripes. 79% of everybody that's officiated the 79% chance you won't come back for year number two. So <laughs> so it's either for you or it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not for everybody. The book is filled with stories gleaned from more than three decades of calling games. Most are funny, some are dangerous, and Spark swears all are true. He says an older referee shared with him the secret to longevity in the officiating business. Marlon, he said, you'll find out officiating ball is kind of like being married. After you've been married a few years, he said, you get used to being abused and berated on a daily basis, but you stick with it because you love the kids. <laughs> so, that's not my marriage relationship. I'm just saying that. That's what he said. Just want everybody to know that. Two shots. Wielding a whistle isn't this ref's only calling. Marlon Sparks is also a local minister. Since 1982, he's served as pastor of Victory Family Church in Perryton, Texas. One chapter in the book details the top 50 insults that have come his way. I just got to know, who's official 88? He was terrible. I feel like he should be reprimanded. It's with that in mind that Hey Ref, You Stink becomes not so much a memoir, but a roadmap for dealing with life's hardest times. I got to thinking about that with life. I said, man, people, all the negatives that come at them, all the things this world tries to tag them with, loser, you'll never amount to anything, you'll never make it. And the names and tags people get called. I thought, you know what? I could maybe put something in there scripturally to help people with their identity in Christ and it would block out the negative that this world's coming at them with. Sparks jokes that he's not sure whether his role as a pastor or a referee has resulted in more personal abuse. Both are rewarding in their own right. But he says there's nothing like getting a whiff of the popcorn on game night. You know, I go into gyms now and been around so long that I've done, you know, kids since they were in the third and fourth grade. Now they're seniors in high school and their first name basis. They're talking, you know, we're just... Both teams, hey, Marlon's here. Hey, Marlon's going to ref our game. And the personal stuff, they know I'm there for them. Hey, Ref, You Stink is available on Amazon or online at coachmarlin.com. Reporting for Great Plains Christian Radio, I'm Delvin Kinser. <laughs>